Welcome back. This is Calvin's. Today I want to show you how to make a labeling certificate for your for your outgoing uh, students. Uh, we can generate a labeling certificate uh, for them. Uh, so the application is uh, Excel based, but uh, I'll use a little of VPA in the login section, uh, even data entry and printing uh, uh, printing uh, uh, process. Uh, so. Uh, this one here is the application. You can see it is uh, written here certificate application in Excel. So let me open it. Uh, double click it. So it's opening, uh, but there is a login section where the user has to log in first before uh, accessing the application. So this is the login window. So you put in your username, uh, put in your username, then uh, put in the password, my password, and four. So you can see that the password is hidden. Yeah, there is a strix used there, so you are not able to see the password. The username is admin. So you click login so that you uh, log in. System. So you can see it's telling us login successful. Then you press OK. So this is the system dashboard. This is the dashboard, and uh, in the dashboard here, you are able to see uh, the school basic detail link. You are able to see launch student data capture form. Then you are able to see a database here, which is linking us to the database. Then you are also able to see uh, generate certificate. So all these are buttons which are very very important because they link us to important parts of this application. Then up there you are able to see a drop down list. This drop down list uh, it has names of all the students whose details have been fed into the system. So you will be able to select and generate certificate there. So whoever you select, that is the student uh, you are able to uh, generate the certificate for. Just immediately you select that student. So let us start by uh, looking at this school basic detail. So you will simply press this one and you will be taken here where you will put in the school basic information. So the name of the school, you will put here. Then the postal address of the school, you will put that here. So those two details are of immense importance uh, to this particular uh, application. So you put in those two. Then we go back to the home page. Then you now able to launch the student data capture form. For example, a student has come from home and then now she wants the living certificate. So after putting the school basic detail for once, then you go to launch the student data capture form. So this is a form where you will put in the required data uh, for the school living certificate. So you can see we can add somebody here. Let's say the admission number is nine. Uh, nine three. Then uh, the student name. We can say uh, we can say uh, uh, Jennifer. 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 Uh, Jennifer Esther Jacob. Then you are able to put the date of admission. That is the date when the student was admitted. So let's say. Click the year there so that we say 2017. 2017. Then it was admitted January 4th. Okay. So date of admission there. Then class admitted in two. The student was admitted in form one. Form one. Started in form one. Then date of leaving. So they left in uh, uh, April. April 26, 2021. So 26. 
so it will 26 31 then class left in left in form 4 uh, date of birth you need to price the date of birth you say maybe it was born in 2005 uh, maybe the month of uh, uh, March maybe uh, 21st so that will be the date of birth then the head teachers report so you will report on the students ability industry and conduct so ability we let's say uh, a very good team player team player She used to play uh, football. And uh, good academic. Good academic. Okay, that could be an ability. Then industry. Uh, you can say very committed students. Very committed uh, person. High level, high level of integrity, high level of integrity. Then uh, conduct, you can say uh, very good conduct, very good conduct. Uh, you can add uh, well displayed. That's all. Mm -hmm. So that is very important. The date of issue. Let's say we issue it today, which is, uh, uh, okay, let's say we issue it on uh, February 2021, not February, but let's issue it on uh, June 2021, maybe 30th. So that is the date of issue, June 30th. Then we submit this uh, particular information. So we submit. Then the system will tell you new student data captured. New student data captured. Then you say OK. Then you can exit this form unless you have another student who may want to put the information on and uh, later on print the certificate. So we can exit. So we've uh, put in the student uh, into the system. So now when you click here, when you click here, all the students who have been put in the system will be in this drop down list. So you can see Jennifer, Esther, Jacob, who we just added her now. So we are able to print that certificate for that. Then uh, we can also look at this in the database. So when you click this one, you are able to have a glimpse uh, the database where all records, uh, all, all data is residing. So then we can also click this one to generate certificates. So whomever, whoever you want to generate certificate for, his name must appear here. His name must be reflected here. For example, Karen Utieno Janako, or if you want to prepare a certificate for Jennifer, then you click Jennifer, then it comes like that. So you can, whenever you want to print or your certificate for, you simply select from this list. The whole class will be here. Those who have taken living certificate and those who have just come for living certificate, they will be residing in this drop down list. So we can also view the same same names uh, in the database. So when you click this one, it will take you to this is the database. So this is the database where all information uh, is residing that we are feeding. So you can see uh, we have the names of the students, we have the admission numbers, we have date of birth, class, uh, day of living, class left in, date of birth, ability, industry, and of course, uh, uh, conduct. Then date of uh, issue. So all that comes to the database here. So like this one is the same. We just added now. You can see Jennifer and stuff is there. So this is the database. You can have a glimpse at it. So it will also give you the number of the students in the database. You can see that now we have 14 students. So 
sometimes if you have a data like this and uh, uh, you want to print for all of them then you will simply print for this 14 students you're able to print and or generate the certificates for the 14 students at a go or if already some have taken their living certificate you simply select you select the one you want to produce certificate for simply select here then you produce certificate so we were on uh, jennifer uh, esther jacob so we want to generate certificate for jennifer esther jacob so we select that name then you come here you will come here and see a button written generate certificate so that is the button you will press that one then uh, the system will generate a living certificate for the students uh, which we can print and give it to the students so let us press this one generate certificate so you can see the certificate living certificate a very nice one have been generated for that girl and only printing is now remaining uh, which we can uh, do which we can easily do so you can select some of you on this certificate uh, so you can see the name of the school the name of the school here then the admission number then this is to certify that jennifer esther jacob entered the school on 4th january 2017 and was enrolled in form one and left on 26 april 2021 uh, from form four having sat uh, satisfactorily completed uh, the approved course for form four uh, date of birth in admission register given here 21st march 2005 then head teachers report on the pupil stability uh, industry and conduct so we have them there we are able to see a uh, very good team player she used to play football good academically then very committed person with a high level of integrity a uh, very good conduct a well disciplined person so you are able to see all those uh, reports that student then people signature she will or he will sign here after the hard copy has been produced then date of issue this date which you issued this certificate then signature of the teacher will be here then of course there will be also some rubber stamp then this certificate was issued without any erasure or alteration whatsoever then GPKL so you can see we have produced a very nice living certificate uh, the one you normally see given to students but we all know how it's a struggle inserting the names and so on on the template when you have the template and now you're struggling to enter these names it becomes uh, sometimes very difficult to do manually so when it's done this way work becomes very very simple work becomes very very easy uh, for us so when you want to print all the certificates uh, for all the students you will simply press this button here you simply press this button here it will now print for all the students in the database remember when you go back to the database you will be able to see that uh, we have various we have 14 14 students in the database so if at all no one of them has been issued with the living certificate then uh, uh, it means we can print at a go so long as all the required details that we want for each one of them is already in the database or in, uh, captured then we can print all the reports of all the living certificates at a go so that will mean that um, we will uh, uh, just come here and then press print. So when you print the, when you press this one, you're able to see that now the system is printing one by one. And you are able to have to hear the sound of our printing are taking place. Uh, my printer is a little bit uh, having some problem. That's why you get the sound. Anytime you can print that one for all of them. So that once they come for their living certificate we are able just to go to the file and uh, give their, it to the owner so that is much even that's even uh, much easier uh, 
just putting in the information into the database then uh, when you put the, all the information into the database we are able to uh, print we are able to print all the certificates as required we are able to print all the certificates as required so uh, that is how this one works uh, i think and i believe that it can be of use to all of us teachers when it comes to uh, issuing school living certificate to our uh, phone calls or to our students who have gone uh, thank you for watching